Hey guys, it's Summing Rush, and today I'm going to be doing a video in the STP1. I'm going to be doing some live gameplay. You asked for commentary while I do this, so uh, yeah, can you give that a try? Obviously, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but hopefully it's okay. Guess we'll have to see. Okay, so we're on Redshire. It's a standard game. I don't think Vanek has encounter turned on anyways. Uh, they have a ton of TDs, so what that means is TDs like to camp. Normally up here, sometimes back here. I'm going to have to be really careful about that. Uh, they have like 1 tier 10 medium, and the majority of their team is heavies. So what I would expect is a lot of their TDs are going to be sitting back here, and their heavies are going to push on the zero line. Now, we might be able to win the zero line, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the zero line to help that because I would normally play the middle, but they have nothing that I'm going to be able to engage in the middle. Uh, like, so there's no reason for me to go there. I don't know if that makes sense, but basically if you know you're not going to fight anyone, why would you go to that position? Unless it's like a really strong position that lets you defend the base in the future or something. At the beginning of the game, it just normally doesn't make sense not to go fight the tanks. You just have to be aware of the situation and run away if you need to. But you could say that with pretty much every situation in the game. Okay, so we've got a leopard, grill. Do we have heavies? Yeah, we've got a 2 and 5B, an E4. Okay, so we have heavies coming with us. I'm just going to sit here. This is going to allow me to be RD safe, hopefully. Obviously, I'm, you can never really be 100% sure when there's already, but we'll see how it goes. They've got a T10. He's not even looking, so... He just shot. Yeah, he killed the GF, so I can actually put another one into him. Poor guy. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Pretty much right now, I can't get any more damage unless I have tanks to take the hits for me. They're M103, they're E75, IS3. They're all going to be right here pre-aiming me. Uh, so if I were to poke, I'm just going to take a ton of hits right now, and that's really not going to work well. I'm going to let their M103 come around this whole corner. He just shot, and he will be blocking the shot for these guys back here, so I can pretty much easily do that. I'm up to about a thousand damage, I would assume. Oh. <laughs> that's okay. I was a bit too aggressive there. 75 is going to shoot. I'm going to see if I can track him. Good. T10 shot. E75 and M103 are reloaded right now, so I'm not going to poke. It's a shame that E75 got away. I'm going to stay on this side because the other side isn't already safe. Oh, that was a good shot. No, I didn't notice the 704 back there. How do I do this? Maybe I'll just come around because I'm sort of bordering. Yeah, I'm gonna help out this uh, E100. I'm gonna shoot at the 907 and stuff because he's just gonna get fucked. Okay, now I have to watch for TDs who are up on that hill. So if I get spotted, which this 907 will spot me, <laughs> you can see that will happen. I was hoping he wouldn't light me right away, but. You know, I have hit points. I can take hits if I need to. That guy's down. And I'm going to try to deal with this 704 right now. They should have the 75. I mean, oh, it's a T10. Same thing. Why is he focusing me? Probably because I'm the only one who he has shot some. This guy is in the open. Hopefully that pans. It may not have. That happens, though. Right now, we can't really push into this. Like, if the T10 dies, that's going to be really awesome for us. But us pushing into camping TDs isn't going to work out. And I don't know if I'm lit or not. So I don't want to get clicked. I don't really want to risk anything. Good. He's dead. Oh, fuck. <laughs> going to have to back up. I have hit points, so I can take a hit, but I need these guys to fall back. We're going to run away from here, because we're not going to be able to beat their full HP tanks. I want to go kill the T57 Heavy and IS-5. 
hopefully that will allow us to clear up our rear. Um, how do I describe this? So what I want to do is I want to try to kill these guys so we don't have to worry about them getting flanked. If I can get the grill and the T95 into the fight, we have a lot higher chances of winning um, than if, if we were just to try to stay here and fight tanks with more hit points and armor than us. And I hope that E4 can get away. I want to help the Grill and the T95, though, because they're going to be stronger to help us win. Looks like the T57 hasn't really moved up, according to the 1390. Good, this guy hopefully was going to give hit points away. I doubt he's going to move up. Sorry, E4. I feel bad now. That missed. It happens. You need to continue to fall back. Artie isn't reading his mini map. Come on, dude. You should know better. Fine. Okay, so myself and the grill. Hopefully, we're, okay. So now we have to. We we're surrounded. So we need to try to eventually push out one way. I don't know if it's going to be easier to kill the E4 or the 57 heavy. They have too many hit points. It sort of looks like a loss. I'm gonna focus on the grill if I can. Because that thing's broken. Okay, I'm spotted. I'm just gonna chill right now. 57 heavies gonna have shots on me. Okay, so 57 heavies of bod. That's really useful. The grill is gonna have shots on me if I'm spotted. This. Hopefully I get a high roll right here. Good. Okay, so 907 is pushing up. You need to fall back, dude. But he can't really fall back anywhere. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Sorry about that. I touched the mic. How is he full HP? I can do about it. Hopefully they come in one at a time. <laughs> um, but the number seven's here. Idiot. What a fucking... Whatever. Idiot. I'm not... I'm gonna ignore the 57 heavy if he's as retarded as it sounds. Hopefully he can't aim. Oh, well that sucks. Oh, he's enrolled. <laughs> okay. Um. On to the next, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what that 57 heavy was doing. I think it was the right play for him to just chill like that, though. Because if he had pushed up, we would have been able to kill him, and that could have given us the win. Uh, I did a lot of damage farming. I feel like if we had had a couple more tanks that did their hit points, definitely could have been a win. I mean, this guy sort of carried for them as well, though. Okay, highway. Now, this map's tricky because I don't like to play the field on this map. Uh, especially in a, in like competitive play, but this is a pub game. Just should I should probably respond. So sorry, I, <laughs> my mic's right in front of my face. I keep touching it. So how are we gonna do this? They've got a ton of mediums. They also have TDs. So normally I'd go middle, but they have TDs who might be up here, putting shots into the middle. Um, so middle isn't really going to work, I think. I might go to C2, see if that works out. I mean, we've got the Thugs players coming with us, so hopefully it works out. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop up to here. It's risky, like it's a high risk, high reward play because what happens is they can just push into me if I have no support. 
you can see I do have support, and they are in thugs, so they sort of know what they're doing. Um, I definitely have support. So I'm taking a risk here. I would say it's minimal because of how we have deployed. I want to get rid of this Skoda very quickly, otherwise he's just going to shit on us. I'm going to focus down, play the Skoda. Sentinel. I will reload before he does. Good, he's gone. Now I need to kill the Skoda, otherwise he's going to be on our ass. He's tracked. This guy can't aim. Awesome. Now I have this. As I was thinking, I hope I don't get clicked. They have one already, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna repair that, actually. I have to save my hit points for now. Actually, I've got 40 seconds until the clicker reloads. I'm gonna have to let these guys lead. Obviously, I'm down to 640 hit points. Uh, I'm gonna have to be really passive right now. This guy's being really, really aggressive considering what they have. Maybe what I'll do is if I pop down to here, I'll have side shots on them. That also means maybe I can stay on lit. There's a whole list of advantages to being here right now. Fuck. <laughs> That's unlucky. How did that pen? <laughs> it's better to take a low percentage shot than not at all. Now you're running. You should be running. He obviously isn't able to, but I want to see if I can keep him alive. He'll probably get pissed at me if he tries to. Uh, there we go. Good. things. Now hopefully I don't get spun in. <laughs> that would be bad. I should focus on the E3. He's actually going to be a threat to them. That guy can win them the game with his position. Right now. I have no shots. Fuck. Okay. Perfect. Oh shit. Rip that guy. We can win this now. Uh, we've won the city. Think. But the fear that I have is that no one flanks their E3, and then that E3 will just have damage and for days. Okay, can I get spotted from here? I'm looking at my mini map to see if they can spot me. I have side shots on this guy. I'm gonna kill the guys who can spot me if I can. I should be more aggressive right now. Uh, <laughs> no, I shouldn't. The, it's There's this balance, right? Like, they're all in a blob. If I were to push up, I could die, which would not be good. Um, but I need to time it with our teammates here, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move up. I might get YOLO'd by the Batshot AP, but you can see he's at K1, so there's very little risk of that. It's just timing. If I was aggressive earlier, I could have died. And that wouldn't have worked out. I obviously need to time it with teammates here. So I want to kill these guys and then flank the tanks who have hit points. That's going to allow me to get more damage. Because uh, obviously we probably have this game. Won. This T10 isn't looking at me. He's got, you know, he's a bigger threat. Good. T32 is next. The Patton is probably going to notice me. Obviously, I have to be careful about a TD coming back to reset or something. 
D3 isn't looking at us, though. That guy's tracked. Might just take a hit here to get no kills. Now, this bat shot is right here. And there's an E3 coming back. just shoot? It looks like he just shot it. Yeah. The way he's acting makes me think he just shot. It bounced, but he just shot, and he got a reset, which is sweet. So I can go get more damage. Maybe a top gun, actually. It's a possibility. Never mind. Cool. That's the game. Oh hey, that was a mastery badge. I think I played that okay. I mean, obviously I got high damage, but in general I think I played it okay. Could have hit more shots, made <laughs> 300 credits. I think I could have done a bit better, but in obviously that's a mastery badge, so can't really complain.